Robert Greene once penned, Do not leave your reputation to chance or gossip. It is your life's artwork, and you must craft it, hone it, and display it with the care of an artist. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of Greene's influential work, The 48 Laws of Power. In our previous video, we explored the first 24 laws, delving into the complex art of power, manipulation, and strategy. Each law presented a unique perspective on understanding and navigating the intricate dynamics of power in our daily lives. Today, we're venturing further into this intriguing world as we explore laws 25 to 48. Brace yourselves for a roller coaster ride through the realms of identity creation, strategic planning, and the art of influence. These laws will not only challenge your existing perceptions, but also equip you with the tools to master your own destiny. Now let's dive into the second half of these powerful laws. Our first law in this part is Law 25. Recreate yourself. You are your own master, don't let others define you. Why be a pawn in someone else's game when you can rewrite your own rules? Remember your identity is your power, use it wisely. Moving on to Law 26. Keep your hands clean. This law advises you to maintain an image of respectability while letting others do the dirty work. It's all about maintaining your reputation and keeping it spotless. Next is Law 27. Play on people's need to believe to create a cult-like following. This law is about creating a strong belief system and becoming the leader people look up to. It's about tapping into the power of collective belief and creating a loyal following. Law 28, enter action with boldness, speaks for itself. If you're going to do something, do it with conviction. Timidity is for the weak. Boldness is power and it commands respect. Now we come to Law 29, plan all the way to the end. This law is essentially about strategic planning. It's about setting your goals, mapping out your path and having a clear vision of your end objective. Remember, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Finally, we have Law 30. Make your accomplishments seem effortless. This law is about maintaining an image of ease and competence. It's about achieving your goals without breaking a sweat. It's about making it look easy, even when it's not. All these laws are about mastering the art of power, about understanding the dynamics of human behavior, and about using this knowledge to your advantage. They're about creating your own narrative, maintaining your reputation, commanding respect, planning strategically, and making it look easy. But remember, power is a double-edged sword. It can make you a leader, or it can make you a tyrant. So use these laws wisely and remember, your accomplishments should seem effortless and always control the options. Moving on to Law 31, control the options. Make people feel like they had a choice, but truly only give choices that see you as the winner. This is a classic tactic used in negotiations and politics. It's about designing the choices so that no matter which one is chosen, you come out on top. Next, we have Law 32, play to people's fantasies. This is about understanding what people want to hear, not necessarily the truth. It's the basis of all good storytelling and marketing. For example, a successful entrepreneur might tell a rags to riches story that appeals to people's dreams of financial independence, even if their actual path to success was much more complicated. Law 33, discover each man's thumbscrew. This is about understanding your opponent's weaknesses, insecurities and triggers. It's a crucial part of any strategy, whether you're playing chess, running a business, or navigating a political landscape. It's about understanding the other person better than they understand themselves. Law 34, be royal in your own fashion. Act like a king to be treated like one. This law is all about the power of perception. If you act like the person you want to become, people are more likely to treat you that way. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you walk into a room with confidence and authority, people will assume you're someone important. Law 35. Master the art of timing. This law reminds us to never seem in a hurry, but to look calm and collected, like you always have things under control. It's about understanding when to act and when to wait, when to speak and when to listen. And finally, Law 36, disdain things you cannot have. Ignoring them is the best revenge. If you can't have something, pretend it doesn't even register in your brain. 
Pretend it doesn't exist. This is a powerful way to maintain your dignity and power, even in the face of disappointment or defeat. Next, we have Law 37. Create compelling spectacles. Dazzle people with big shows that cover the harsher reality that you don't want them to see. Think of a magician masterfully diverting your attention with grand gestures while the real trick unfolds unseen. Then we move on to Law 38. Think as you like, but behave like others. It's about blending in to avoid resentment and hostility. An example could be a vegetarian who doesn't make a fuss at a steakhouse, but quietly orders a salad. Law 39, stir up waters to catch fish. This law is about using chaos to your advantage. When your opponents are emotional, they're less likely to think clearly. It's like the chess player who makes unpredictable moves to unsettle their adversary. Law 40, despise the free lunch. Remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Gifts often come with obligations. Instead, be the one who gives. It's a sign of power and control, just like a wealthy philanthropist who donates generously to charitable causes. Next is Law 41. Avoid stepping into a great man's shoes. Make your own mark. Don't ride on someone else's coattails. It's the difference between a cover band and an original artist. The former may be good, but they'll never outshine the original. And finally, Law 42. Strike the shepherd to scatter the sheep. Deal with problems at their source. If you're dealing with a group issue, address the leader first. It's like tackling the queen bee. The rest of the hive is likely to scatter. Remember, these laws aren't about manipulation or deceit, but about understanding the dynamics of power and how to navigate them. They're tools in your toolkit, and like any tool, they can be used for good or ill. It's up to you to use them wisely. Deal with the problem at its source. Strike the source of the trouble, the leader or the main instigator. Now, let's explore Law 43. Work on the hearts and minds of others. Influence beats dominance. The art of gentle influence is in appealing to emotions first, then dealing with rationality. Moving on to Law 44. Disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect. Copying can be a great technique to stir emotions and create confusion. Then Law 45. Preach the need for change, but never reform too much at once. Change is often resisted, so make your alterations slow and gentle. We then have Law 46, never appear too perfect. Strategic vulnerability can bring you closer to the masses. Law 47, do not go past the mark you aimed for in victory, know when to stop. Overreaching can lead to downfall, so know when to halt. Everything changes. What worked today won't necessarily work tomorrow, and you must adapt to thrive. That's the final law, Law 48. Assume formlessness. We have now covered all 48 laws of power from Robert Greene's iconic book. Reflect on these principles, from mastering your identity to assuming formlessness. Consider how they can be applied to enhance your leadership prowess. Remember, power is a game, and the most skilled players win. Keep these laws in mind as you navigate the game of life.